Hi, my name is Ryan Phillips. I'm a customer service technician at the RM Young Company. I'm going to be showing you how to use the vane calibration fixture to calibrate the wind direction on your wind monitor. Two models are available. The bench stand is meant for lab use. For applications where it is more convenient to calibrate on site, the tower mount fixture can be used directly on your permanent tower. The tools you will need are a nut driver, or flathead screwdriver to loosen the band clamp on your wind monitor, the hex wrench included with your wind monitor, and the propeller nut wrench if you have the new style propeller nut. First we need to put the wind monitor on the fixture. Align the key in the mounting post with the key on the fixture. and then tighten the band clamp so it stays in place. Move the alignment arm and raise the tail cradle. And tighten down the nut so it is secure. And now I'm going to check a couple of wind directions to verify if it needs to be adjusted. I'm going to set it to 90 degrees and the display is showing 300. Change it to 270, and the display is showing 120 degrees. This wind monitor needs to be adjusted. I've already removed the nose cone and propeller from the wind monitor. To prevent damage to the nose cone, it's a good idea to cradle it on your bench. Here I've used a roll of masking tape. First, we'll need to loosen the set screw in the coupling. So using your hex wrench, let's loosen that set screw a little bit. You'll need to turn the wind monitor to face 180 degrees. And then turn the thumb wheel until your display is reading 180 degrees. Now we can tighten the set screw again. We recommend that you check the direction every 30 degrees. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will be checking one more direction. I'm going to set it, set it to 270 degrees. And the display is reading 269, which is within the tolerance. At this point, you should make sure that the set screw in the coupling is tight, and then reassemble your wind monitor, and it will be ready to be used in the field. If you have any comments or suggestions, please contact us at support at youngusa.com. Thanks for watching.